Welcome to Ranco TV. My name is Brad Vori and I'm one of the application engineers. Lighting has come in many different forms, from tubular to round to stack lights. Flexible lights have been newly introduced by Banner Engineering. The WLF 12 series of lights have solved several different applications where traditional lights can be a challenge. Lengths can vary up to 2 meters and as short as 300 millimeters. Each light can be cut in 50 millimeter segments or three different light segments. These lights are a silicone encapsulated light with an IP66, IP67, and IP69K rating. They also feature a peel and stick back to be installed on round or odd shaped surfaces. Common applications for this can, can include AGVs, forklifts, panel lighting, level indication on tanks, timers, or counters. So many different uses for this light. So depending on the application, each light requires either a digital I.O. converter or an I.O. link converter, depending on your application. The digital I.O. version for customization requires the Pro Editor software and the Pro Editor cable. Let's take a look at how the software works and how we can program the light. To connect to the light, use the Banner Pro Editor cable. Connect it to the adapter and open up the Pro Editor software. Click the connect button and it will typically find the adapter that it was connected to. If not, you have to use the device manager to determine what port the adapter was installed to. If successfully connected, it will indicate connected on the software. Press continue. There are many different options when customizing your light. The machine work cell will allow you to turn on a light based off of the status of a digital input. This is probably the most common use, usage of the light. So depending on whether the brown, black, or the combination of these wires, you can choose which color is going to come on. Spectrum will turn all the different colors on. Drop down the animation menu to choose which animation you would like, and then choose the color, color accordingly. If you have a pre-configured light, you can simply choose Read, and we'll read that configuration. <clears throat> Other different applications that can be used on this light are simple tower lights. The mobile configuration allows you to customize this light for various different warning levels on an AGV or forklift. As you can see, this is a pre-configured configuration, but can be adapted to your specific needs. Configurations can include stop, blinkers, reverse, in motion, or emergency. As you can see, every indication has a specific color. Other applications can include timers, counters, pick to light, or distance engage. I'm going to show you an example of how a distance application can be used in your facility. To choose distance, press the distance, and then we're going to choose, in this case, a basic distance. This distance feature will allow a specific sensor with a PWM or PFM output. There are several different banner sensors that, can, that have this functionality built into the sensor. So I'm going to choose the PFM, and I'm going to choose the default of 100 as the low and 600 as the high. I'm going to enable the dominance and then select the colors accordingly. So when the laser sensor is at its highest output, it's going to indicate a green. When it's at its lowest level, it's going to indicate a yellow or a red and then flash at its lowest level. To write this configuration, select right. To connect the sensor, you can connect the sensor directly to using a splitter to the light through the adapter. The white wire on the sensor will give the appropriate PWM output. Let's see how this looks with the sensor. The cool thing about this application is it requires no external controller. The sensor is directly connected to the light. You simply use any PFM enabled banner sensor with an appropriate splitter directly connected to the light. 
The PFM output, depending on the distance, will drive the position of the indicator. So this application shows a perfect example of using a sensor for a level application, for example, on a tank. So this indicates the tank is full. As the tank starts emptying, the, the green level starts to go down, and when I hit a specific threshold, the light will turn yellow. And as the level goes further and further down, the level goes down and ultimately ends up with a flashing red light. As shown, this light can be customized to your exact needs using the Banner Editor software. To learn more about this light, visit our website at www.ramcoi.com. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.